Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Informed Farmer Insights, the, the publishers of Scrip and The Pink Sheet. We're here in, in Barcelona at Bio Europe Spring, uh, where you know, biotech, pharma, medtech, uh, investors all get together to discuss trends, uh, opportunities for transactions or investments, etc. I'm jo uh, joined by David Wiener, who's the, um, uh, uh, the co-founder and MD of a tech company called uh, Vinios. Correct. So, so David, yeah, you're, you're a med tech company, but yeah. it's not, not like the sort of big devices you're producing. No, no, no. So no. could you explain exactly what Vinios sure. does? Sure. So what we do at Vineos, we build a new way of analyzing biological cells, sort of the next generation of cell analysis, by analyzing electrical cell properties. So we don't need the microscope anymore with the uh, optical information, but we have this uh, the silicon chip developed, uh, the silicon chip uh, which I have here in my hand. Yeah. And what you just do now today is you do piper your cells on the chip, they'll attach to the chip, generate electrical signals which we measure, and turn them into images that are very similar to what you know from a microscope, right. just without labels, um, very natural way of analysis of the cells, and getting information which you will not get with any other kind of uh, device. So does this mean it actually can be done remotely, I, that a doctor could take the, 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 the sample and send it somewhere? or? Do you anticipate this actually being a, uh, a desktop or a physician desktop uh, product? Currently what we have is like this is the chip which is yeah. our consumable yeah. and we have the station which is like the CanQ chip and the yeah. CanQ station for our product the CanQ. Yeah. Um, and we had first target academic customers and going into diagnostics later on where we imagine to have one CanQ in every single lab, every, right. one CanQ in every single doctor's office. Um, and currently what you would do is you have a few more um, like a culture jam on top of this chip um, and you will use it in the lab and use it with the device together. Right, okay, so, so let's sort of rewind back yes. slightly. Yeah. So what, what was the sort of the challenge, yes. uh, you know, scientific or yeah. medical yeah. challenge yeah. That, that, that doctors or uh, you know, clinicians were facing mm -hmm. that, you, that you think you have a solution yeah. for? Yeah. So what, what we are, we're basically a spinner from Max Planck Society. So right. coming from fundamental research, going all the way to product development right. and now uh, product, product selling. What's the challenge when you look at cell analysis? Um, customers start with a problem and want to get to a solution. What happens in between, they are a little bit agnostic about that. And today you look at like um, consumables, like the micro -well plates, the labels, the hardware and the software, all coming from different companies, yeah. making it very difficult. Especially the labels bring a lot of problems with them, um, and that's why people at some point in time try to get rid of these labels, establishing so-called label-free technologies. Right. Yet those technologies have never really been as successful as everybody hoped for as they missed the imaging part, which we now add to it and we make it, we combine the imaging, what you know from a microscope, with the advantages of label-free technology, giving you a completely new way of analyzing your cells. Right, okay. So, uh when you're sort of pitching it to yes. the sort of the research yes. scientist, yes. what are you saying? What is the advantage? Is it that the fact that they don't have to have you know label, labeled reagents anymore, or therefore have to handle them that way, yeah. or is it is it less expensive this approach? When you talk to academia, academia is mostly about getting uh, high-ranked publications, and yeah. with this technology, as we have a completely electric re new readout, you yeah. get just new information. For example, about the adhesion of a cell of a living cell. Um, and when you see that in the, in the application area of oncology, this is something that no one else can measure at the moment. Right. So academic customers really want to get the technology because you get information about something new that you haven't measured, been able to measure before. Um, when you talk then later on to, uh, to industry, we'll have like upcoming product generations with a much higher throughput, not just one chip, but much higher throughput. Right. And there we have the advantage of giving them new information, giving them all the cellular changes which you would need different labels for all in one go and replacing the chemical molecules by software. Basically that's what we do, uh, which means that you need less skilled people, you need less cells, you need less time for the experiment and just cutting cost and time. That's basically right. what then so, for academia yes. comes so, so there is a sort of an economic benefit of course, to, to this. You always have to have, when you talk to industry, um, they always want to know what's in for me, less input or more output. So. How developed yeah. is the process? I mean, is this, you know, uh, you know version one mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, how, how do you see it, uh, you know, progressing? Um, as I said, it's like a spin-off from Max Planck Society, 30 is a fundamental research, like this two-shelf large prototype which we had, which we now put in a very small compact device, yeah. um, which we started selling end of last year. Um, so we are already a market-ready product, yeah. having first customers, first product sold, and now going to develop on top of our hardware with and for customers, right. the applications, which mostly means developing firmware and software with the customers together. Okay, so this meeting is much more of a commercial meeting where oh, yeah. you've got 
uh, you know, big pharma, you've got biotechs, yes. um, uh, or you have investors. Yeah. So, so who, who is it that you're, you're, you're talking to here? Yes. Uh, so we talk to, to a variety of, of different groups. We talk to the, the contract research organizations and the pharma companies, right. trying to get them on board as early on as possible to make sure that we do a development with them and yeah. develop further product generations and applications in a direction that makes sense for them. Right. At the same time, we look at customers who already have a benefit out of our one-chip system um, and try to find also cooperation partners to put their technologies on top of our chip or combine it with our chip right. to make even more meaning and we had more meetings, more meaningful meetings than I even expected. All so right. that was, so far was very, very, very insightful and very, very good. Right. Uh, okay, well, thanks very much for, for stepping by and, sure. uh, and, and sharing the story. Cheers. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you.